Carlos, many congratulations on a 22nd victory of the championship season. How satisfied are you by what you saw from your team today? I think first point that I am satisfied because the team achieved the three points and it was our clear target today. Then uh, and to arrive at the end of the season, winning games for me always is important. I was, I found the difficult the first minutes of the of the game. I think in the first 20 minutes of the game, they were better than us, and it takes it took 20 minutes to adapt a little bit to the position of them, to the structure. But I think the moment we changed a little bit the shape to play more 5-3-2, the team was managing better, uh, was defending better, and at the same time attacking, attacking better too, with option in the counter attacks. And of course, the, the goal of Tofolo helped a lot in the team to increase the confidence that we could uh, win that game today. In the second half, I like the, how the team performed in the second half. We were compact in, in defense, showing so good moments of personality in attack, and showing or having some counter attacks that uh, maybe they could allow us to, to make more different in the result. And at the end, it's true that we were suffering the last five minutes something normal in the championship, but something that, of course, you need to try to, to avoid to protect the result. We are increasingly fascinated by your use of Jonathan Hogg as the middle centre-half when the combination works like that. Carlos, from your point of view, why do you do that? Just explain to us again, how, what's that there to stop? What's the function of it? No, I think we analyse the game's uh, feeling if we need to defend more with five or with four players uh, in, the last, in the last line. I think the, the, the fact that, for me, Russell is an important player in the middle, if you play with Hoy and Russell in the middle, both are positional midfielders, and you lose one player more to attack from the to incorporate to the attacks. So for me, it's more depending about how we think that the team is going to need if we need line of five or no to see which player we need to have in the middle of the piece to allow us to make the decision in the back. And the fact that you needed to think about the team and change it so much during the match is, is probably a useful exercise with the playoffs coming. No, I think that. Uh, some players for me need the, the minutes in the legs to, to show that they can help the team. Uh, for example, after the injury of Danny Ward, for me it was important to, to, to see him again. Because in football you never can move from lose some weeks to, to give your 100% uh, performance after you miss some weeks. And for me Danny Ward did the, the feeling of these minutes because we know that he's an important player for us. And Angelin is one player that still need to give the if still need to add physical values to come play more minutes, but it's important to, to have players that can make impact from the bench. Anturin certainly changed the story in the second half with his aggression, his entertaining running, and then he was given responsibility to take the penalty. Tell us about your thinking there as well. No, I think uh, it was not easy to, to make the change because for me Holmes was receiving between the lines very well. He was understanding very well the need of the game and where the spaces were. Then to make that Sometimes you change the player for another player and maybe the player doesn't understand in the same, with the same way that what the other player was doing. But I think he you know, was understanding really well too where the spaces were, where the advantage were, where we had the, the free player. And after the moment of the penalty for me, uh, Holmes is one of the taker players, Roach is another of the taker players and they were not in the pitch. And for me, every player in that moment is more question about personality to, to face the situations. We could see the determination in your players' body language to, to try and preserve the clean sheet. So there was a bit of disappointment at the end when Coventry did score. Sometimes for the players, yeah, but not for me, because I know how, how difficult it is to, to achieve the clean sheets. But over the clean sheets is always the, the result. So we cannot be disappointed when we are uh, performing well. But at the same time, it's positive to see that the players have a lot of commitment with the different moments of the game. And because always for me, this can help you to, to compete better. 79 points with one game left. A top four finish is guaranteed now. How proud of you of your achievement, yourself and the team? Well, I think the, the evaluation of the season I like to do when the season is over. Like you say, now still we have one league game to play in the two playoff games. So still we have points uh, or still we have games before I can do any type of evaluation. When you see Coventry um, show their affection for their fans and in the other way round for their final home game of the season, does that make you look forward to next week at home to Bristol City for Huddersfield Town? I, fortunately, the next game is not going to be the last game of the season for us at home. So and this is something very positive to finish the, the season with more games to play. 
it means that we have done uh, a good things to give we can give more steps so now um, our focus now is to prepare the game in Bristol and after of course to to prepare the playoffs thank you Carlos congratulations mm-hmm.